I kind of think we mm -hmm. shut out like the classic Sid and Nancy kind of like yeah. idea that we had and just looked at them as human beings and wanted to humanize mm -hmm. them as much as possible and you know, do our yeah. version of their relationship. Yeah. Today I've got with us Louis Partridge and Emma Appleton to talk all about the new FX series Pistol. Welcome. Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> hey. I mean, you are playing this iconic duo. Tell me a little bit about what it was like to take on these real life people and make them your own. It Ooh. was an undertaking. Yeah. And you're right, they are an iconic duo. They're probably the, well, they're an early I mean, iconic. they're an infamous iconic they duo. Are. They are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You hear that word, that, that phrase flung about quite a lot, but they were mm -hmm. a true iconic duo. Um, mm -hmm. But it, it seems like a bigger undertaking looking back now. I don't know about you, yeah. but when we were in it, it was like we were just treating it as a, a normal script. And obviously we were learning things and reading books and meeting people, but it was, you were really just trying to find the soul within these people. So it didn't seem like we were taking on this, uh, this monster that was, you know, yeah. these, these characters. I kind of think we mm -hmm. shut out like the classic Sid and Nancy kind of like, yeah idea that we had and just looked at them as human beings and wanted to humanize mm -hmm. them as much as possible mm -hmm. and you know do our yeah. version of their relationship yeah. um, and what that looked like yeah because once you've met as well the people that they were friends with um it it's kind of hard to reduce them to stereotypes so we Absolutely. really really keen to and as was craig and danny the writer and director mm -hmm. um just keen to to bring these people to life in a in a true way I, what was it like developing your chemistry uh, as this, you know, couple on screen? How did you develop that dynamic? It was so it was, easy. It was so fun. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. <laughs> we did that day of improvisation. Yeah. Again, I always come back to this day. Yeah. Um, I think we just trusted each other really quickly. Mm -hmm. And we both really enjoyed playing our characters and yeah. just just felt like we could like play around with them and you know, let it happen very organically and naturally. Yeah. Um, and we could get things wrong, it didn't matter. Yeah. Um, and I think we just had so much enjoyment in playing them. Yeah. And, and we wanted to really do it justice mm -hmm. and kind of commit to our own interpretations. Yeah. So. Yeah, we just played around with yeah. it for quite a while. And we knew that we had some crazy scenes to do. So it was like, we're going to have to do it. So like, we're going to have yeah. to get our get our hands dirty some you know laid down the line so we might as well throw ourselves fully yeah. into it um and i think we right. wanted to be as comfortable as possible yeah. for when we got on set and we just right. knew our yeah, characters yeah, yeah. inside and out for whatever happened yeah. because danny loves a bit of bit of improv yes, here and there yes, yes. so that yeah. makes it easier absolutely well I, emma i mean there's so many divisive opinions uh, about Nancy and, and her role in kind of the, the Sex Pistols story. How do you see her now that you've become so close to her as, a, as an actor? I think it was interesting for me because I use a lot of source material. I read a book that her mother wrote, um, which was very important mm -hmm. because, again, it was more about humanizing a character that we haven't seen on screen before. We've seen versions mm -hmm. of Nancy. We've heard a lot of stories about Nancy. And I wanted to take, you know, the emotional kind of vulnerable aspects as well mm -hmm. and weave that into the Nancy that Craig had written in the script. Mm -hmm. um, so it was just more about just really fleshing her out and seeing all sides of a human being rather than just the kind of the, the mythology of what we've heard and seen. Louis, I felt like you did a really good job with that, with Sid too, just Thank this you. really nuanced version of his character. What was that Thank like you. for you? Yeah, I, we, I, yeah, I owe that quite a bit to, to Craig um, and Danny, who really did want to, to, to create that version of Sid that we haven't seen before and a version of Nancy that we mm -hmm. haven't seen before. Um, but I found it really fulfilling to be telling, um, to be giving giving Sid a bit of humanity, I, I, I enjoyed that because it takes like five minutes. You listen to an interview with him, and you're like, he's kind of a, he's a thoughtful guy. He's he's mm -hmm. he's well. In some interviews, I'll I'll preface that because there are some yeah. uh, he's, he's <laughs> far talk. from thoughtful. Um, but mm. yeah, there's there's stuff going on behind mm. you know a guy with his shirt off. There's so much know. we don't know about people, and I think it's easy yeah. for us to think that we yeah. know everything when we didn't know them. Yeah, we still don't know them. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Absolutely. Well, you did a great job. I really enjoyed the series uh, and I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me today. 
No, thank, thank you so you, much, Anna. Anna. Cheers.